Hello, Malcolm here, and welcome to Highlights from Hebrews, episode 35. We're now into chapter 5, and we're going to look today at the first four verses, focusing particularly on verse 2. Every high priest is selected from among the people and is appointed to represent the people in matters related to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray, since he himself is subject to weakness. And the writer goes on. I just wanted to talk for a moment there about being able to deal gently with those who are ignorant. We value gentleness, don't we? Jesus was gentle. He did not break a bruised reed. He was very gentle. The word there is metriopathio, meaning to moderate one's passion, to be gentle or compassionate. How good it is when people are gentle with us. My first job leaving school was in a factory. And my first job in that factory was to trim some booklets. It was a printing and booklet making concern. And I was rather overzealous in trimming those booklets as I pushed them into the trimming machine. I pushed them too hard and thousands of them were trimmed incorrectly and it didn't become obvious until one of the supervisors came by and found that I hadn't trimmed one or two incorrectly but the whole batch and they had to be reprinted. I was fearing the wrath of the boss as he came down to have a look because they brought him down to see what had gone on and he looked at me he looked at the booklets he looked at the other supervisor and the other printers and I could see he was really struggling not to be harsh with me I didn't know what I was doing I had made a mess of something that was going to cost the company quite a bit of money however even though he could have been harsh with me he decided not to be turned away turned to the printers and said well we'll have to print this lot all over again He dealt with me gently. I was very grateful. How good it is that we have a God who deals with us gently. Because we are ignorant. We do go astray. And Jesus is able to help us because he understands the temptations that are ours. That's that's what we see in chapter 4 and chapter 2. He has empathy. That's something to pray about today. Gratitude for Jesus' empathy and willingness to be gentle with us. We'll finish as we always do with Hebrews 13, verses 20 and 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Until episode 36, God bless.